What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett. Today we're gonna to be demonstrating the Sheffield Metals Engineered Clip and Fastener Guide. This includes all the information you need to buy the correct clip and fastener for your engineered product because without those, your engineering is void. So this includes panel profiles for roofs and walls, and it is based on the profile, panel material, and deck substrate. Each entry includes the box quantity and part number, so there's zero miscommunication for you to get the correct order. All right, let's jump into the engineered clip and fastener guide, and we're gonna use a couple examples to help you get used to using this tool. The first one, we've got a project that's an inch and a half mechanical seam panel that is formed with steel material over a plywood deck substrate with a double lock seam. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find our panel profile. If I go page by page here, we're gonna find our inch and a half mechanical seam. Here it is, the SMI 1.5 MS. And remember, this is a steel panel that we're forming over plywood double lock. So here are steel panels over plywood, and here we can see the 180 slash double lock indication. So this is the correct clip that we need. If you notice here, we've got our box quantity, which is 200, and we have two different part numbers. This is really important. The base and the tab of this sliding clip comes separately. So we have to make sure that we order both to have the complete assembly. Next, let's find the correct fastener for this profile. Scrolling down to the fastener section, here we can see we have a 10 by 13 one inch pancake head screw, which is for all panels over plywood. Here's our part number right here. We send those part numbers over to Sheffield Metals and we have the correct clip and fasteners for our inch and a half mechanical seam steel over plywood. Let's look at another example. In this project, I've got an inch and three quarter snap lock aluminum panel over B-deck with ISO. Now this one is coastal, it's within 1500 feet of a coast. So we're gonna look for stainless steel parts. Scrolling down to find the inch and three quarter snap lock profile, here we are. And again, we wanna look for our aluminum panel over B-deck with ISO. So here is our clip. You can see aluminum panels over plywood, metal deck with and without ISO. This is the one we need. We see our box quantity of 250 here. And because this is not a sliding clip, this is a fixed clip. We only have a single part number. But if you look underneath, we need stainless steel because it's required for coastal projects within 1500 feet of salt water. So we wanna use the stainless steel part number for this clip. Same thing looking at our fasteners, scrolling down here. Again, we're looking at a metal deck with ISO. So that would be using this fastener here because it is indicated for metal decking with and without ISO. Again, we have our box quantity and this one has different sizes, part numbers for each size in regular and stainless steel. The length of the fastener is determined by the ISO thickness. And we have to remember that the fastener must penetrate the substrate at least half an inch. So let's say we have two inches of ISO, I'm gonna get this three inch fastener here. And again, because we're coastal, we're within 1500 feet of salt water, I'm gonna order the stainless steel part right here. Our next example is a two inch mechanical seam panel, and this is steel over open framing. Again, let's find our two inch mechanical seam profile. I'm gonna scroll down here until I find the 2.0 mechanical seam, here we go. And this is over open framing. So let me scroll one more page, and here we go. Steel panels over open framing, 180 double lock. This is the clip that we're gonna need. Here's our box quantity and our part number for us to order. Now let's go find our fastener. Scrolling down to the fastener section, we have fastener for plywood, metal decking, and in the next page, we have our open framing fasteners. Here's our bag quantity of 250 and the part number. In our last example, we're gonna look at a wall profile. This is the Wave 16 4C over hat channels. The C in the name indicates that we're gonna be using a clip. So first, let's find our clip. I'm gonna scroll down until we find our wall panels. Here's the SMI Wave panel here. Steel panels over open framing. This is the correct clip. There's 1500 in a box. Here's our part number. Let's find a matching fastener. Scroll down until we find the Wave wall panel. Here we go, open framing wall panel, wave 4F and 4C, here's the correct part number. 
The Sheffield Metals Engineered Clip and Fastener Guide is available right now at sheffieldmetals.com. Download it for free so you can order the correct clips and fasteners for your next engineered project. If you have any questions, comment down below. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel. As always, I'm Thad Barnett. We'll catch you next time.